<laughs> you know, okay, here's a story. Let me, let me just uh, tell a story, actually, for this YouTube video. <clears throat> Open up a little bit, okay? Uh, my very first dog bite that was really bad was from a dog named Muffin um, when, I was, when I first got a job as a bather. Now, Muffin uh, looked kind of like this dog, except she looked crazy. Uh, she had wall eyes, so one eye would be staring at you real crazy like, and the other eye is looking the other way for an escape route or something. Like, after they bite you, they're going to run around, so they look at it both at the same time. <laughs> so, really crazy, spooks you out. I thought she was psychotic. And so, anyways, I'm drying her head with a towel like this, and bam, she bites so hard, threw the towel, broke my fingernail through the towel. Blood, I mean, it, it really hurt. Um, and so, uh, like, I just, I, I got scared. And no matter how much you know and read about dogs, no matter how much you, no matter how much you try to reason with yourself and work through it logically, when fear hits, now I understand why, how some people feel when they see a dog that scares them. I don't make fun of them anymore. I used to. I used to point and laugh and make fun of them. <laughs> <laughs> but now I don't because I understand how it feels because your your hands get shaky, palms get sweaty, um, your body temperature goes hot, your heart rates, your knees go weak. I mean, it's just you physically react to this this uh, what you're you're feeling in your mind. This fear just takes over, and you keep picturing the bite, and you, the fear is uh, anticipation of of pain. So you keep anticipating the pain, and so what I believe happens is the fear. And, and anticipating the pain, thinking of the pain, and visualizing the pain makes it happen. So, what I'm trying to do is just get it out of my mind. This is not Muffin. This is another dog that looks weird. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come in. She would always growl at me and just look at me with its crazy eyes. And I'd always try to just calmly, you know, breathe it out and do what Caesar says and, you know, sit next to her cage, you know, because where I work, they used to cage the dog. I mean, most everywhere it cages the dogs because they have too many. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, I would I would sit in front of her cage and just kind of breathe and try to get try to get her to trust me. But no, she would just growl. And here's the thing: every single time um, I Muffin would schedule, or you know, well, she would be on the schedule for a groom, they would tell me like a, like the day before, oh Muffin's coming in, like a big joke, and because they knew that I, I would volunteer to do her every time. I, I always try to face my fear. You know, I see it as an opportunity to grow, but also pee my pants. Every time it's an opportunity to pee my pants, but um, every time, you know, like in the morning driving to work, I would just start shaking, you know. But yeah, just every, every single time she would be on the schedule, I would always ask to do her. And I was just a bather at that time, but as I started to get better, and I was doing more and more, and I started doing little trim ups and light, light you know, like mini grooms where you just shape up the face and the feet. I would ask to do her after I was done with all the other dogs washing and drying them and everything and I would ask if I could finish Muffin and you know just work through it you know season them along baby please season them along baby you know just keep doing it but yeah I mean finally I got to groom her and I made her look very nice I did a complete groom on her and it was awesome I didn't get bit she growled a couple times and I was I was scared a couple times but you know, just work through it. And, you know, I just think that whenever something does scare you, rather than run away from it, you should. You should always try to confront it. Even if it makes you pee your pants. No, it's kidding. I never pee my pants. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a sweetie. Just talking about Muffin got my ears all red. <laughs> just thinking about Muffin just got my ears all red and got me all heated up again. <laughs> oh man. Muffin. I remember telling your mom about it. <laughs> My mom laughing. Everybody thinks it's so funny. You don't know how terrified I am. Oh. Nobody cares. Everybody just wants to see me get bit. <laughs>